very good evening to everybody today we'll going to learn something in this matra medica session a remedy from third year syllabus looks to be organ remedy but having a depth action and that is the agnus castus it's a chest tree it is a remedy which is from the verbenaci family and this remedy is always very useful for the homeopaths because there are many patient who used to come to homeopaths for the sexual problems generally there are very less remedies available in allopathy or modern science for sexual problems sexual neurasthenia or weakness impotency and that's why such types of patients are the chooses homeopathy for it and this is a wonderful remedy having the action of genitals specifically male genitalia it is more pronounced than the females i will share one case it was interesting he was a he was a man around 30, 48 years of age came to me in a very depressed disturbed mood there was one lady attendant who was there with me who was attending my clinic he asked to send her out and then he started narrating his case and then he explained that he is so frustrated doctor that i want to commit suicide or i want to live because because we had a big battle myself and my wife and this is only because my because of my sexual problem he was not getting a urge to sex he was having absolutely tremendous impotency since last 2 years he has tried many allopathic medicines which worked for temporarily for a week or 10 days and there after the recurrence was there because all those were utilized in material doses and palliation is always followed by an aggravation that is the rule and because of which it never worked properly so this fellow was al already disturbed and he told whole story that today morning we had a battle and she said that either i will leave the house or you will leave the house but you should not remain over here because i am not getting satisfied and he explained it plainly in his own terminology and he was absolutely his face was looking sulky morose and then he explained doctor what has happened i don't know and he has shown the fine whole file all investigations found to be normal he was not having a diabetes if diabetes is there at least one can treat the diabetes and clear the impotency so that was not the question many tranquilizers were given by different different persons even he has taken the treatment from psychiatrist also and it never worked and he was in such a mood came to me so this is the remedy agnus castus which i have tried in him i have you given agnus castus in 30 potency because melancholia associated with the sexual impotence sexual weakness this is the wonderful remedy so i have given agnus castus in castus 30 potency in repeated doses i asked him to meet me after 15 days and the remedy worked so beautifully that when he came after 15 days he was absolutely in a good mood he said doctor it has made the wonder in my life i don't know how it worked i was i was in double mood whether it will work or not because of the size of the pills but it worked so nicely and we had a very good relations in between nearly about 8 days and it worked continuously he was very happy the it has acted out at all levels right from the center and that's why his mind was also fresh and at the same time his performance was good so this is a wonderful remedy very useful in such types of cases 
there are three four remedies which comes closer to it one is phosphoric acid where the sexual debility is there many times there is a question when to use phosphoric acid and when this remedy my suggestion is that phosphoric acid is the remedy with diabetic impotency the debility is so marked with the person here whole person doesn't have a debility it is only sexual debility in case of agnus castus in phosphoric acid the person is debilitated second important difference is there that agnus castus doesn't have a diabetes features where it they are present in the phosphoric acid so that is the big difference over there one must think about second remedy which comes closer to this is selenium also selenium is also having the problem of impotency specifically in old person if you don't get result with the agnus castus then you can think about selenium if diabetes is not there associated that is also a good metal and having the similar types of features like agnus castus over there so one can think about the selenium along with you so we can when we think about the remedy we must understand where is the action and how it works allen has very nicely elaborated this remedy because he has mentioned not only the features of the male genitalia but he has explained the whole core of the remedy at the mind so let us open the agnus castus from the allen's keynotes chest tree verbenes e for the lymphatic constitution so the it has it involves the lymphatics lymph nodes and <clears throat> these persons they are sluggish dull slow and these persons which which doesn't have a strength those are lymphatic constitution persons agnus castus is one of them now see what are the features which develop secondary to it it is a remedy wonderful remedy for premature old age lyco is also close lycopodium is also having premature old age but there is a difference lycopodium in sexual sphere it has a early ejaculation whereas agnus castus there is total impotency so you can very easily differentiate lycopodium with the agnus castus absent minded reduced power of insight cannot recollect and this confusion this state of mind is secondary to the this impotence has to read the sentence twice before he can comprehend like like opponium like phosphoric acid like sepia but this is very specific secondary to the his impotence impotence itself is the main reason the person remains in that state what is wrong with me and because of which his performance is, lacks the performance old sinners sinners means those who have done the sin in their life means they have a very severe sexual life with the many partners and that is what the sin is there old sinners with impotence and gleet gleet is the gonorrheal discharge mucus gonorrheal discharge is the gleet so these are the persons who are the victims of gonorrhea because of having sexual relationship with many partners unmarried person suffering from nervous debility <clears throat> these are the persons who remains to be unmarried because because they lack the confidence earlier they had very severe relations with different different persons and suffers from gonorrhea catches the gonorrhea and followed by uh, impotence see in bold it has been written premature old age melancholy melancholy is sadness which is crisis on the face you can easily catch melancholic person apathy they are not able to talk they 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 never talks with others mental distraction and that distraction is because secondary to the impotence self contempt self contempt means they reproach themselves arising in young persons from abuse of sexual powers earlier there was abuse of sexual powers in the youngster later on suffers from the premature old age premature old age from seminal losses 
semen is lost, there might be two things. One is earlier sexual abuse. Second important thing is the um, masturbation tendency. And both of them leads towards the premature old age. Complete impotence, again given in bold. And this is the difference between lycopodium and this remedy. Here there is complete impotence, relaxation, placidity, coldness of genitalia. Underline these. These are three important words. And this comes from the patient's mouth, which you have to catch. No sexual power or desire, like caladium, like selenium. These are caladium is one more remedy which you can um, use in such types of cases. Impotency. Impotency after frequent attacks of gonorrhea. So psychotic dominance is there in this remedy. This is secondary to the gonorrhea. Bad effects of suppressed gonorrhea like medorinum. Medorinum in such types of cases acts as an intercurrent. Because here the case problem is typical psychotic myelin. If you have choose the agonist and it is working, but it stopped working thereafter, better remedy is the medorinum as an intercurrent. Another remedy you can think of thuja. If it is patient is chilly, thuja. If patient is hot, think of medorinum. Glit. Glit already we have discussed. Glit with absence of sexual desire or erection. So there is a gonorrheal discharge, mucus discharge associated with the total impotency, loss of sexual desire. Female genitalia. There is a liquoria which is transparent but staining the linen yellow. Very important feature. It stains the linen yellow like medorinum also. In medorinum, the stains are undeniable. You cannot remove them. Leucorrhea passes imperceptibly, imperceptibly from the very relaxed parts. The, so, the vagina, the uterine walls, uterus, vaginal walls, everything is so relaxed. Yes, one more feature in females, and this is again one more remedy which I have used after SFF in one case in where I have used the SFFTD and which fails, and then I have used diagnosis case test and it worked. Deficient secretion or separation of milk in nursing women. Very important remedy. Most first remedy I used to think of always SFFTD, but Lack can, lack defloratum, there are, there are many more, but esophyter is generally very common remedy for it. If it fails, then agnus castus is another remedy one should think of. Often with great sadness, deficient secretion of milk, often with great sadness, says she will die. And this is so nervousness which happens to be there in their mind. Why I am not getting the milk secretion. That question arises in their mind and they are disturbed. They are, they are absolutely nervous. They are melancholic and they feel that she should die. Complaints of imaginary odor before the nose as of herring or mus. Herring is a fish. It was typical smell. Musk, musk is a kasturi. These are imaginary orders, nothing but that is a delusion which happens to be there. Last sentence of the remedy is very useful. That is the prevents excoriation from walking. And those who used to walk or those who goes to the dindi, they walk for hours together per day and they can get the excoriation of the souls. To prevent the excoriation, this remedy works. This is the hint given by Allen and uh, in uh, last two months back, uh, Dr. Prachi, madam, she has explained case where she has utilized it successfully in such types of cases. Relations, caladium and selenium follows well after agnus in weakness of sexual organs and impotency. And these are really two important sexual remedies which one must learn and utilize. So, selenium is good remedy after the agnus fails. Caladium is also one of the remedy where the agnus fails. So, this is what the Allen has explained about the agnus case. But keep it in your mind. 
agnus castus in few words that is the agnus castus is the remedy where there is a impotency associated with melancholia very marked effect on the mind the patient is forgetful patient is confused patient is disturbed mentally and all those this mentality is secondary to the severe impotency which happens to be there the remedy is agnus castus so this is the remedy which you can use uh, in 30 potency in repeated doses you can use uh, yes dr satyanar he has asked that with kali for 6 6 we can give yes definitely kali for is a good tranquilizer you can use along with that yes very correct I, in fact i am also using uh, there is one remedy uh, one wire combination is there 27 number that is lack of vitality which you can use along with the agnus castus and it's a good uh, by combination which is useful in such types of cases and that also you can repeat in the patient so that's all regarding the agnus castus we'll meet on monday with a big remedy that is agaricus which was remaining but it is a big remedy that's why i have not choosed it today but we'll definitely discuss agaricus on monday's lecture so that's all for today. If any query is there, we can have a chat. Otherwise, we'll continue. So, sir, for a, that important case, I have given directly selenium, sir, for a old old man with uh, importance. Yes, selenium but is also, has... also a metal which is used for the specific conditions like this. Yes, selenium is a good remedy for. Mm, sexual impotency and has a very good successful results even in my practice. It is a wonderful thing. But I did not get the results, sir. Then, you, the must, failure. then you must think about what may be the cause. First investigate the case. Whenever impotency uh -huh. is there, first investigate the case and then start treating. Without investigation, my suggestion is you should not start directly on the symptomatology. Today I had a case of sterility. I have investigated both partners. In one partner, female partner, she was having PCOD. Another husband was having severe oligospermia, only 4 million sperms with zero motility. So this is too important to um, understand the cause behind the impotency. So you can treat. Always investigate and then start the medicines. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you for being there. We'll meet mon on Monday's session. Okay, thanks. Good night. Thank you.